thyself down from hence. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answering and said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, and when the devil had ended all the temptation, and when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Jesus returned in the power of the what? He returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. Can you say amen? Amen. Remain standing, I'm going to pray with you. But for the next few moments, I'm going to be talking about anointed for the altercation. Anointed for the altercation. Yeah, that's it right there. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. Anointed for the altercation. And it sure is a fight. Say amen, somebody. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us as we open up the word of God that we might hear what the spirit is saying to the church. I thank you in advance for what you're going to do. I believe you to do amazing things. Bind the devil hand and foot. Take authority over him in this place and around the world as we open up our hearts to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. I thank you in advance for what you're going to do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. Let's go to work. It is to me one of my favorite passages of scriptures, not because of the grimness of the text, but because it tells me a lot about life. The last time we heard from Jesus, he was 12 years old in the synagogue. From 12 to 30, he lives a life in complete obscurity in the text. We know nothing and can find nothing about the 18 years that preceded him turning 30 years old. When he turned 30 years old, everything began to change. It is interesting to note that David was anointed to be king when he was 30 years old. It is interesting to note that you became eligible for the priesthood at the age of 30. It is interesting to note at the age of 30, Jesus hits the screen of the text again in a most dynamic way. He goes from obscurity to celebration, from isolation to celebration. He goes from isolation, point one, 18 years of nothingness, to celebration where he is brought down to the front by John the Baptist and is celebrated of the Father in a moment of celebration. And he goes from celebration ultimately to altercation uh, in the wilderness. Can you say amen? It is interesting to know that in the process of celebration, one of the most dynamic moments in my mind of the text is when John the Baptist is standing there baptizing people in the Jordan River and he looks through the crowd and somewhere in the midst of the crowd he sees Jesus and says, 